Welcome to Punk Rock and Arcade Top 10, the show that invades your personal space with based opinions. And today, we're counting down 10 hardcore bands that should have more listeners, more influence, or at least some more recognition. Doing all that while playing Donkey Kong 2 and watching a bunch of gel sets. Link below. Hey ladies, how's it going? Dan Frampton here. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the video. And before we get started, just slap a little like on this, hit subscribe, and if you're feeling a little spicy, send a little super thanks. I will be reading every single super thanks sent into the channel. Okay, with that out of the way, let's hit the pit. Okay, coming in at number 10 is Atlanta metallic hardcore band called Gut Check. They just put out a song today called Blood Bonds and it's fucking amazing, guys. This stuff sounds so sick. A mutual's with the drummer and he's actually like a really fucking sick photographer and gets to take pictures of Darby Allen all the time. So that's another pretty cool little fun fact about this group. The music is mean, it's vicious, and most importantly, it's available to listen to now. So go to your nearest streaming platform and listen to Gut Check. Coming in at number nine. Okay, coming in at number nine is gonna be FUBU Guy's band, Gagging Order. If you're familiar with this channel, then you know that I do mosh pit analysis, and there's this very famous slam dancer known as FUBU Guy. Everybody knows about him. Reddit knows about him, Instagram knows about him, all the bands know about him. People wear this guy's band shirt because they love how much this guy slams and how well he slams. Fubu Guy is a legend and this band is fucking great. And I think because of how much of a legend that Fubu Guy is in the scene, these guys should be clearly a bigger band. But not only should they be a bigger band because of the clout that they just naturally possess, they're a pretty good friggin' band too, okay? They put out an EP last year and it's fucking pretty sick. So go, uh, again, listen to this band. They should be big. Okay, for this next selection, we're gonna cast the calendar back a couple years. We're going back to 1988 and we're gonna be talking about Turning Point. To me, Turning Point are potentially my favorite youth crew band. I love the way that these guys sound. I love their songwriting, their musicianship is amazing, the vocals are great, and it just goes hard as fuck. Turning Point is incredible. All right, we're gonna crank open the number seven spot here, and we're gonna be talking about Field of Flames, another straight edge band from the Bay Area. Now they're kind of a super group. They have Joseph Alfonso in it, who I've made kind of joking videos about in the past that I don't think he's appreciated, but I don't think that there's any beef at least from me, and I, I don't know, maybe I need to be a bit more selective with who I choose to make fun of on the internet. But <laughs> I don't know, I thought he left himself open with some ridiculous lyrics and I just decided to make fun of them. Either way, I don't think that he's not a sick dude. He's a pretty sick dude still. And this other band that he's in called Field of Flames is really sick. It's more metallic hardcore. There's a lot of that on this list actually. But they're the only band on this list that engage in the fine art of guitarmides. If you don't play music, you might not understand what a guitarmide is, but it's basically when one guitar makes a harmony with another guitar and they kind of like sing to one another and sound beautiful. And they have a lot of beautiful sounding guitarmides on their record. Speaking of the record, it just recently came out. It's awesome. I love this fucking thing. Seven songs, super tight, super concise. Feel the flames. Bay Area riffs on riffs on motherfucking riffs. Now number six is another band that I've kind of talked about here on the channel before. Kind of a noisy grind experimental chaos core band if I'm being honest with you. I don't really know how to categorize them. Maybe it's more like bubblegum slam, but P.S. You're Dead are pure fucking artists. And the record that came out this year called Sugar Rot is unbelievable. I follow them on all the social medias and they're touring, they're fucking getting this music out in front of people, but they're not doing it to nearly enough people. I think that this group, this talented, amazing group of musicians should be playing to bigger venues than like half empty basements, okay? So if you're a promoter out there, get P.S. Your Dad on a show or something. They'll probably travel out to wherever you promote shows, but I'm not really speaking for them. I don't have the right to speak for them. I just really wish that they were playing bigger shows to more people. 
We'll get back to the regularly scheduled programming in a bit, but until then, I want to read a couple comments. Some super thanks from some previous videos, and also this comment that came in on my last video about Jer coming from Jer himself. He goes, Howdy, thanks for making this video. And I bet he was smiling and swearing the whole time, like a wholesome edgy boy that he is. You actually selected the chart that I'm on, which is current album sales. Sadly, it's behind a paywall, lol. The main chart is a combination of everything from sales, streams, radio, license use, TikTok plays, Instagram stories, everything. The current album sales is only sales, which is the one I'm on, to clear things up. All right, so that's amazing. Thank you, Jer, for clearing all that up for us here on the Dan Frampton channel. Gonna give that a big old heart, and I'm also gonna pin that to the top. It won't let me pin this for some reason from here. I'll, ma I'll make sure that that happens, though. Next, we're gonna read some super thanks. They both come from Trash Can Jam, threw a super thanks and said, Pit Pros is the best thing on YouTube. Happy to contribute to you making more. And then they came back in on that Jer video and said, worth every single penny. Woo! Still can't join, so glad I can contribute in this way. And I don't know why they can't join, but not everybody is getting the join button, and it doesn't matter what platform they use. They go on their phone, they go on their television, they go on their laptop, they go on their PC, and it doesn't matter, for some reason, they're just not able to join my channel, and it's kind of annoying. So YouTube, if you're watching this, as corrupt of an entity as you might be sometimes, it would be great if you could help me out. That was a joke, don't act man me. Okay, welcome back to the list. Here at number five, we're gonna be talking about Simulacra, this Delaware hardcore band that just put out a record called The Infection Spreads. And to be honest with you, I didn't love the record right away. I thought it was good, but I was like, eh, you know, whatever. It's just like this metallic hardcore record. But the second time that I listened to it, I was like, holy shit, man, this goes hard as fuck. And these guys are doing actually some pretty crazy things on this record. And on top of all that, they can really play their instruments and it's recorded really, really well. Okay, coming in at number four is an LA hardcore band called Sweat. Now I just got onto these guys this year and holy smokes, these dudes can fucking rip. What a band, what an incredible set of musicians, okay? This is more like punk flavored hardcore rather than all that like metallic stuff that we've been talking about so far on this list. But not only is it punk, there's like 70s style riffs all over this thing that make me feel like, you know, they listen to a lot of like Leonard Skinner or whatever and then are also in a hardcore band. So I think that their influences are pretty interesting and they write pretty interesting music. This record, Gotta Give It Up, is one of my favorites of this year. Sweat, LA Hardcore, go check them out. Okay, well we're not quite there yet, but we are in the top three. Cracking open the top three is a little Orange County straight edge band known as Dare. I love these dudes. They can write some serious goddamn riffs, let me tell you something. They can make the people move and they have a reputation for putting on great shows from coast to coast. They're currently in Europe and I'm glad that they're fucking really making waves across the seas. As far as vocals are concerned, they're one of my favorites in the genre. Coming in here at number two is gonna be the only melodic hardcore band on the list, and that's a little Baltimore supergroup known as Praise. They put out a little album this year that is so catchy, that is so hooky, that is so memorable, that's called All in a Dream, and I adore it. It is definitely top five of the year for me. And it might even get into the top three the more I listen to this thing. I think that it's just like so unique, so interesting, so fun to listen to. It's recorded so well and there's nothing really out there that sounds quite like it right now. So the album again is called All in a Dream. The band is called Praise and I gotta say that you should really listen to them. But here we are at the number one position the band that I think should be the biggest band on this whole list. They are Chicago hardcore party rockers known as Buggin'. Now I was talking about bands that write some of the best riffs in the game. I was talking about bands that have some of the best vocals in the game. I was talking about some of the bands that have some of the funnest songs in the world right now. The band that actually has all of those things, the band at the very top of all those lists is Buggin'. 
bugging is absolutely mind blowing stuff. And you gotta imagine, I was as stoked as ever when I saw their Instagram post saying that they just finished tracking their LP. Cause so far there's a bunch of Lucy's here and there. There might be an EP or two, you know? They did an audio tree live session that they call a record, but it doesn't really count. So if there's any record that I'm looking forward to the most this year, it is that one by Buggin. I don't know what they're gonna call it. I don't know how long it's gonna be. And that's gonna be just like all part of the fun. I think the aesthetic is gonna be fucking amazing. I think everything about this thing is gonna rule. Oh, we were talking about FUBU guy. He's actually in the set that we're watching. I'm just noticing that right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, I clearly got distracted there by the FUBU guy. Uh, Buggin, very amazing band. Go check him out. So sick. Okay, that's gonna be about it. If you didn't like this video already, you should go ahead and do that. Subscribe, join the channel, send a super thanks. But most importantly, if you know of any bands that need more shine out there, let me don't. But more importantly, if you know any bands that need more shine out there, let me know down there in the comments. I would love to come in with a part two. So until my next upload, watch another upload.